Gemini. Hi, welcome to your November tarot card reading. We're going to have two readings in one here, Gemini. So the first part, it'll all be chapter bookmarked in the navigation bar. We're going to be doing a beautiful little Celtic cross spread with this nice cloth that I got from the Dark Exact on Etsy. Um, just a general overview of your month. And then the second part of this video is going to be your love reading, which is more of an intuitive thing that I'll do. Um, between you and your person at this time. So let us begin. Gemini, I hope you guys are doing good. Your videos were getting quite a bit of traction uh, last month in October. So let's go ahead and see if we can keep it up. Everything that I get for you, my wonderful Gemini, is going to be for your highest good to help you see clearly at this time. And I ask that the guides of the Gemini Collective be able to send whatever messages you guys need. Keep in mind, these are not personal readings. These are general readings. So, you know, a lot of it may be applicable to you, my beautiful Gemini, but um, I'm not talking directly to you. Use your brain, use discretion, use your intuition. Before we get this spread out, I want to look at a, uh, <clears throat> let's get an Oracle message. See what like we can be expecting for you in November. Heart's been doing this like crazy. Just push. I feel it start like I feel like it's this November energy. Stuff is just spilling out. Things may be chaotic this month, I feel like. Speaking of which, we got fog for you. So this is actually a card that we just had for the collective that I do in my collective readings. Um this is a really cool card to get. So November is going to be kind of limiting you in how much you can do and how much you feel that you can achieve. It's like putting up a barrier between you and the future, putting up a barrier between you and all your goals. It's not a bad thing though. What this is doing is it's slowing you down so you can kind of simmer in your energy and make the most out of your time. It's a bit of a hangman energy. It wants to slow you down, but there's also this really soothing aspect to it where you might have been in too much of a rush or you might have been putting too much on your plate. So this fog energy is coming in to kind of just chill you out a little bit, make you appreciate and stay. And like I said, simmer keeps coming up simmer in the present moment because there's more there for you to to get. There's more there for you to enjoy instead of just running and, and, and going to the next thing, which will be happening, you know, maybe December 2025. So remember, if you guys start feeling a little bit um, foggy, I guess, like answers aren't there, like things are unclear, frustrated because you can't move forward. Just relax and realize, OK, this is meant to be right now. What can I do in my present moment to just enjoy it, to just be present? This might make more sense as the month goes on, but alas, let's check out what we're getting for your November spread. Gemini, that ain't working. Let's try that one more time. Your present situation, Gemini, November. Forces affecting your situation in November. Message from your higher self, Gemini, it's November. Message from your higher self. Don't be stubborn with these messages from your higher self. Getting <clears throat> a little bit of a stubbornness coming in with you guys. Foundation. Okay, getting a little bit of a stubbornness with you guys. Oh. Work together with people. Collaborate with people. You want to do everything on your own. November is going to be a month of collaboration for you, though. You're going to really, I'm not going to say need, but it's going to be really useful for you to be kind of like corresponding and like doing stuff with other people, Gemini. Foundational recurring theme coming out for you in November, as well as a past event or an unlearned lesson. November. You got to <laughs> Your month is about to be crazy, Gemini. I feel like, to be completely honest, not in a bad way, though. I just feel like if there's stuff that needs to come to the surface, if there's stuff you got to deal with before the 
um, year comes to a close, that's happening for you in November. I see you celebrating in December. So December is a month of victory. So you do overcome this stuff. But November is when you got to face stuff, Gemini. Don't be scared, though. And again, reach out to people. People are on your side, your friends, your family. You know, they're coming out for you. In fact, <clears throat> um, someone in a relationship may play a really big role for you. This could be a Virgo. Uh, there's somebody very wise that you are connected to now or will be connected to romantically. This person almost has a healing energy, but they will also literally offer you their hand. Be very open to relationships, Gemini. Upcoming event, November. Upcoming event for Gemini for November. These cards are acting weird for your reading. Your attitude in November, Gemini. Impact of your current environment in November. Hopes and fears. Your hopes and fears for November as well as the outcome, Gemini. What's the outcome for you in November? Okay. Your present situation. This is kind of your general overall energy, what you're dealing with in November. And just as I kind of told you, <laughs> just getting a lot of energy. The Eight of Wands is showing me that things are moving fast. No wonder you've got this fog energy to slow you down. If you don't, you'll fucking trip and shatter your teeth or break your leg. Anything that you cannot accomplish right now, it's just meant for you to take slower, I feel like. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of news. There's a lot of changes. There's just a lot of things happening for you by, by the time November starts rolling around. For some Geminis, I feel like this can be quite overwhelming, although you can multitask quite well. Although I get the feeling that you want to rush it. You want to move forward as quickly as possible, but you're just not meant to. It's weird though, because there's so much going on, you would think that this is a month where you just go like, whoosh, like through everything, right? But you can't for some reason, even though there's all this stuff going on. So I'm feeling a little bit conflicted for you about this. Let's continue. Forces affecting your situation. Four of Wands and the Knight of Wands. So automatically, like as soon as I pick this up, I feel like there's a question here of leaving home. There's a question here. Oh, I need to take my tea. Um, Sencha. My tea today. There's a question here like you're going to need to like leave home. So some of you might be going for like a business trip or, but it feels very sudden. It doesn't feel like this was planned. It feels like all of a sudden you're home one day, next day you're packing for some reason temporarily to, to go. So <clears throat> this could be a family member. Uh, reaching out to you, a loved one reaching out to you or something, but it feels like you just got to boom. And that's going to shake things up for you. I feel like routines or habits that you have stabilized right now that you're kind of sticking to are going to be challenged for some reason. So a message from your higher self. We got the moon and we got the queen of wands. Understand your motivations. Don't just go in autopilot. You really need to understand yourself this month. Some of you, this might be asking for psychological, therapeutic work. Needing to take the um, initiative to talk to someone about your feelings, about what's going on in your subconscious, especially if you've been dealing for quite a while with emotions or things that feel totally out of your control, Gemini. Nothing psychologically or emotionally is out of your control. So like a lot of you want to distract yourself with doing a bunch of stuff in your physical reality because it's going to take you away from the feelings that you get when you sit with yourself and i feel like that fog energy is coming up to kind of force you to actually take initiative about how you're feeling and 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 kind of do that foundation or the recurring theme is the hierophant take a look while i sip my tea it's too hot not to slurp sorry um, practicality your foundation is practicality again I'm getting like strong therapy vibes for some of you you know 
the moon, the Hierophant. Um, but you, Gemini, are not being practical about some things. You really need to take your time and look at things logically. I see you needing to make a list. Um, and that really helping you? Like, literally just making a list for something would, would really help you get organized and stuff like that. Or, like, time schedule throughout your day, managing your time better, would be really helpful for you. Past event or an unlearned lesson. This looks like an X. Jesus. There's definitely emotions or feelings that you're avoiding. Um, somebody, maybe a water sign, maybe an air sign, probably water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel this person really hurt you with the decision that they made. And you're either manifesting that lesson that was attached to this person that you didn't learn, or this person's manifesting you back into their life, this actual person. Could be both. The reason for any lesson type energy, the reason for any karmic type energy that is coming into your love life specifically, or the energy of your heart, if this is family stuff, but I feel like that is because November wants you to sort this stuff out. November really wants you to sort your emotions out so you could be happy and balanced. But it feels to me that, that something is coming back that is very similar to a past hurt to show you something. Not to punish you, to show you something, Gemini. Remember that. An upcoming event. So we had the seven of pentacles as well as the five of wands. Feeling like there's going to be issues with coworkers, issues in the workplace. This may have to do with for some reason why i see you traveling so suddenly um there could be issues because you're leaving um and people are upset with that or you could be leaving because there's issues with people i want to clarify that a little bit more the spider the seven of swords there's somebody who does not have your back in the workplace. I'm sorry, but I don't feel like they do. And that's going to be revealed to you. Why? What's your best advice? Mars and the chariot. Again, I feel that there's a lot of lessons being learned this month. Um, so this is showing me that you may back down from confrontation when someone wrongs you, when someone fucks you over, you're just kind of, you just kind of let it slide because you don't want to start something. Um, you need to speak up and speak your truth. You need to defend your position, defend yourself. It doesn't mean that you have to extract revenge and start a war, but it does mean that you have to stand up for yourself. And I think the lesson is standing up for yourself in this situation when this murky ass person comes to light who's talking smack about you, trying to get you fired. I don't know what this could be. Just being an all around shitty person, you know? <clears throat> Defend yourself a little bit there. Stand up for yourself, Gemini. So I do see, you know, really breaking a lot of karmic cycles here, a lot of energetic cycles. Again, we're cleaning house. A lot of things are coming up from the surface for you right now, Gemini, to help you clean house. Your attitude, King of Wands, I like this for you. This is really going to help you actually move forward and do the things you need to do and do them with confidence as well. Your attitude here with the King of Wands is showing that you are ready to take a stand and you are ready to do what needs to be done. The impact of the current environment. I saw um, things going into disrepair in your house, a refrigerator breaking, a microwave breaking, um, which may actually happen, but that could actually just be like a metaphor as well for there's things going on around you that are here to show you that you need to take a stand and make a change. I feel like everything happening this month is like a metaphor for the changes that need to be made. So if something goes wrong, 
that's where your attention should be. And until all of these things feel like you kind of balance them out and set them right, that fog will not lift. But eventually it does and you go into the next stage. Your hopes and fears. Money. I feel like I feel like you're worried about financial stability, financial balance. I hear you asking, is someone going to have my back? I don't know. Make sure that you have your back so you don't worry about that kind of stuff, I feel like. The outcome of your month, Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Honestly, I feel like just when you've reached your limit of things that you have to take care of, things you have to do, things that you have to defend, an opportunity comes. And it's like a key that unlocks the next stage. You see that keyhole there in that card right by my finger? It's kind of like that. But like something pops up right in the nick of time and you're like, okay, if it would have come at any other time, any different time, it just wouldn't have been the same. Um, it wouldn't have been right. I just feel like the events are leading you to the exact perfect moment for that change to happen. This reading may not make sense until November gets rolling for you. So be sure to like bookmark this and come back. All right, let's check out what fog is all about for you. We'll go ahead and give it a read and then we'll get into your love reading, Gemini. All right. All right. Triple X nine. Disorientation of funk a lull. When fog is present, nothing is clear, not even the problem. It's hard to orient oneself or to know where you're headed. A distinctly damp mood blankets your world, your life, the laboratory. Fog can be surprisingly pleasant as a counter to drama, and therefore it can lull us to sleep for long periods of time. With its cooling nature, fog is a natural balm for pain and trauma. Yet this state cannot sustain us. For we long to see the horizon on our surroundings. There are two solutions. The first is heat. Think sweating, desire, confrontation, passion, creativity. If that's too edgy, the second is... The second and inevitable solution is time. As they say, the morning fog burns off by noon. The sun will be seen again. How much time you spend in the fog is yet to be determined. The automatic response, this is interesting, the automatic response of I'm fine is fog personified into speech. Now, the automatic response of I'm fine is fog personified into speech. So that's basically somebody asking you when you're having a shit day or when you're feeling like shit, someone's like, hey, what's up? How are you? You're like, I'm fine. That's that automatic response. Notice when you're saying it. See if it's possible to allow a little color and clarity in. When the fog is thick, reach out to a dear friend. We already saw that with that hand, two of cups energy, or a mentor. Well, this might be coming to you as well. It's important to get oriented and to feel seen when you're within the alchemical stew. Reach out to a friend or mentor. Again, I feel that's another nudge at therapy that I was picking up on for some of you, or at least just talking to somebody. Let's jump into your love reading. I'm gonna switch the camera to do the autofocus at different angles, and then we will begin, Gemini. All right, Gemini, welcome to your love reading. Let's go ahead and see what's going on between you and your person at this time. Do we wanna use this deck? Do we wanna use this deck for your love reading? No, we don't. So we're going to be looking at overall themes for the month of November. What's going on between you and your person. All right. If this resonates, there's going to be an extended in the description box below in which I'll look at outcomes and clarify uh, anything else that needs to be clarified. So... It sounded like water pouring. It was kind of cool. Overall energies. 
for November in love between you and any person of interest. Gemini, what do we get in there? If autofocus is weird, if it starts getting all fucked up, just let me know in the comments. I'm interested to know if it works well or if it doesn't. Queen of Wands, the Sun, and the King of Swords. So I feel that there is a lot of clarity coming out between you and somebody here. Um, I see you kind of stepping up and having the confidence. Again, this month is really pushing you to have the confidence to be speaking up, to push you into that really healthy Gemini energy um, of communication and of knowing your worth, which, you know, is like end game, I feel like, for Geminis. So again, with the Queen of Wands here, I just feel like you're going to be able to be speaking your truth and being like i see you kind of moving out of your kingdom somewhere else to talk to someone to speak to someone so that's going to be like you leaving your comfort zone or doing things that you don't normally do in love but you're doing these things with confidence now and again i see with the sun and the king of swords this could be another air sign that you're dealing with aquarius libra gemini um, or somebody who's finally telling you the truth, telling you how they feel. You're getting a lot of clarity in a situation that maybe recently didn't have that kind of clarity, Gemini. Your energy. Now you two are a pretty good match. You two both give air energy in the realm of the relationship. At worst, communication's horrible. And you guys suck at communicating at best. And this is what I'm kind of getting it coming to now is you guys are going to be able to openly communicate. And this could make you a very harmonious match. This might be a fellow Gemini. Your energy specifically with this person, my Gemini. You seem very apologetic. You're doing a lot of soul searching. You feel like you might have messed up. You feel some regrets here with something and you're kind of hoping for the best. You're hoping that this person pops back in, gives you a second chance. Um, you're wanting something to work out. Your person of interests, energy. Your person of interests, energy, Gemini. What is your person of interests, energy here? I see somebody kind of leaving the nest, getting Aquarius a little bit with them. Um, I want to clarify the four of wands. Clarify the four of wands. This person may be the reason that you're traveling that we got from the Celtic cross. <clears throat> I see this person taking a break from something. It's not clear to me if this is like a business trip for this person, if this person is leaving home. Or if this person is taking a break and there's distance in the relationship. But I just see that there's a break and it almost looks like it's restorative for them. It's helping them get a perspective. It's helping them see things differently. This is kind of like a detoxification here um, with this person, I feel like. Now, another thing that I'm getting from this, this could be an alternate energy, an alternate reading for you guys, is that this person is taking a step back from you and they are entering into another relationship. So they're going on a date with somebody else. So those of you that understand that there's a third party involved, this is that kind of confirmation here that this person is stepping back from your energy and moving into something with that third party. I want to clarify a final time just to get any kind of final messages on that. What we see here, whether this is a trip, distance, or a third party, is that this person is going to gain a new perspective and understand a new way forward in their relationship with you because of it. This isn't inherently a good or a bad energy. This is just how their energy is changing. There's something coming in that changes their perspective, and that allows them to see things differently. Now, like I said, there's a bunch of different ways that that could manifest on your timeline, but the rest seems pretty, pretty static. Stemming from that, I see this person becoming more optimistic and having more of a control on their life, Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Wands. That being said, there's something that they're doing um, in the beginning of November or there's something that they're doing now as this starts to unfold that I feel they end up kind of regretting later. So they think it's good for them at first, but then it's not. Um, so if this was a new relationship, they're going to be regretting that relationship. If this was like, uh, a, a trip or a vacation i don't know i don't think they have a very good one i feel like they kind of start regretting uh something 
or it could be a good trip. It could be a good vacation. But on that trip, they're just like regretting having left you or not being with you. I see a lot of mental difficulties coming in with them, a lot of worry, wanting to reach out, a lot of anxiousness here. So whatever's going on in the beginning of the month, I feel like by the middle of the month, by the end of the month, you're getting these kinds of like anxious messages from them that they're upset about something that they said. They're upset about something that they did and they kind of regret it. Now, with your energy here, to me, it just kind of feels like you feel like you messed something up with them. You feel like you might be the reason that there's distance or maybe you pushed them away and they actually went and found a different relationship or something. But I also feel that you're kind of regretting this too a little bit. You're regretting something that you said or did and you're kind of having this like soul searching type of energy here and you're hoping for the best. You're hoping for, I think you're hoping for them to come back and to maybe forgive you. Energy between you guys. I don't know if there's going to be like any kind of reconciliation immediately. I see a lot of distance between you guys. And they're kind of putting their foot down with something. There's like a, a heavy energy that kind of feels like it blocks you guys. What's your highest advice, Gemini? It's almost like you're going to want to deceive yourself for something more positive. There's something going on that's like not super positive that you know. It's either that third party or it's something else. Um, and it's like you won't admit it to yourself. But you could save yourself a lot of pain and a lot of trouble by just admitting it to yourself, Gemini. Admitting to yourself the truth. You may also be receiving insight or advice from someone that you trust, like a friend. And it's almost like you're going to be like, you're a fucking liar, no way. And you get mad at them. But it's like they give you good advice. They give you good insight. And you have a choice, basically, to keep lying to yourself or to understand what the truth is in that situation. So your advice coming out here for November in this situation is basically to stay balanced and stay focused on what is giving you balance. You want to be honest with this person. You want to communicate with this person, but you don't want to chase if they're making you chase. You want to keep your heart open. So if you feel that the situation is like darkening your heart, if you feel like it's starting to darken you in some way, you want to take a step back and cleanse and clear and maybe just keep your distance from the situation. Because it's almost like you could fall into this alternate pathway where you're just kind of lying to yourself and you're like very self-deceptive and the energy just gets really heavy and negative. Or you could just rip the band-aid and be, be true to yourself, be honest to yourself and do what you need to do. Do what is right, especially for your heart and for your balance and for your energy. Now, that being said, I saw the overall energy as you guys getting clarity and communicating. So I stand by that. I think that's still going to happen. So this may be warning you of an approach. Don't take the approach where it's just kind of like playing games and heavy on you. Be honest with yourself and them, communicate. And when you understand the truth, accept that as your truth. Don't be lying to yourself because that's going to keep you trapped. I'm going to look at the potential outcome between you guys, see where this goes, and then clarify these cards in the extended. What I feel like is going to happen by the end of the month is you're going to be kind of split. I don't think there's going to be this kind of togetherness. I don't feel that. But the door's not closed. There's something developing here. 
but you guys, you know, I, I don't see you guys in any kind of committed relationship by the end of the month. I think there's something going on between you guys and it's headed towards a direction. I just don't know where. I'll try to find that for you in the extended, but I mean, there's no guarantees with the future. That's in the description box below. My beautiful Gemini. Thank you so much.